हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू सेवन इंजीनियरिंग यूट्यूब चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब और चैनल फॉर डेली सेवन इंजीनियरिंग वेजेस एंड टुडे लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू फाइंड आउट द मिनिमम थिकनेस ऑफ द वन वे स्लेब सो इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर मेनली फोकस ओनली ऑन द वन वे स्लेब सो इफ आई डिफाइन द वन वे स्लेब सो इट कैन बी डिफाइन इज इफ दिस इज इन स्लेब एंड दिस इज द शॉर्टेस्ट स्पेन ऑफ द स्लेब एंड दिस इज द लॉन्गर स्पेन ऑफ द स्लेब सो इफ द रिशो ऑफ द लॉन्गर टू शॉर्टेस्ट स्पेन when it is greater than 2 or equal to 2 we call such type of slab is the one way slab and this slab can be only designed in one direction and we will provide the main reinforcement only in one direction for one way slab now if the longer to shorter span ratio is less than 2 then it will be two way slab and in two way slab the reinforcement the main reinforcement will will be provided in both the direction in the x direction as well as in the y direction while in the case of the one way slab the main reinforcement only be provided either in x or in y direction so this is the main difference between one way and two way slab now in this lecture we are mainly focus the minimum thickness of one way slab according to the american concrete institute 31814 code they provide the table which is the table 7.3.1.1 where we have support conditions where we have support conditions and according to the support condition we have different thickness of the one way slab so now if i consider the simply supported type of one way slab the minimum thickness will be equal to the length of the slab divided by the 20 If it is one in continuous one way slab, then the minimum thickness will be L by twenty four. And similarly, when it is both in continuous, it will be L by twenty eight. When it is only cantilever, then it will be L by ten respectively. Now to know about each type of these support conditions. So first, starting from the simply supported case, from simply supported one way slab, the minimum thickness is L by twenty. So if this is the slab, let's suppose. this is the slab and this is the length of the slab so we will have this is a one way simply supported slab because it is supported only by these two supports which form the slab and simply supported so there are only two supports provided on each side so we call such type of slab is the simply supported slab or the support condition are only simply supported so in this case the minimum depth or thickness for this slab will be this h will be equal to the l by 20 for example the l here is 1000 or for example 2000 mm so it will be divided by 20 so we will get here 200 mm now to discuss each type of these slabs so starting from this simply supported slab where the minimum thickness will be equal to the l by 20 so if i draw this slab so it will be look it will look like this so this type of slab is supported only by two conditions so it is like simply supported slab so in this case if this is the length of the slab so the minimum thickness for this slab will be equal to the h if there is a slab so it will be equal to the l by 20 where is l is the length of the slab so this is the simply supported case now what is the one in continuous and both in continuous slab where they are mostly making confusion during the selecting the thickness of the slabs so i will explain it here on the next slide so one in continuous and both in continuous in this case if if you look to this diagram so this slab we have here one slab we have second slab third slab or fourth slab so we have four slabs here in this uh, figure so now starting from the one in continuous one in continuous means that the slab is continuous at one end and this continues at the other end that's why it is known as the one in continuous because it is only continuous at one end so if i look to this slab to this slab 
but it is only continuous at one end if you see this end is continuous while this end is discontinuous because there is support here and there is no further continuous of the slab so this slab this slab will be called is the one in continuous slab one in continuous slab and the, the thickness for this slab will be equal to the L by 24 similarly for this slab this is also discontinuous at the other end where the one end is continuous here so this slab is also known as the one end continuous one end continuous slab in this case the thickness will also be equal to the L by 24 where it is the length of the slab so this both in continuous means that the both ends of the slabs are continuous so if I consider this slab so the this direction is also continuous in this way and also this the this slab is also continuous in this way so we can draw here by different pen so this slab if you look to this slab this slab has been continuous in this direction and also been continuous in this direction as there is no discontinuity in this slab so this can be regarded as the two both in continuous slab both in continuous slab similarly this slab is also this slab is also continuous at this end and also at this end so this is also both in continuous slab and in this case if this is the length of the slab so the thickness will for this slab will be equal to the L by 28 the last one is the cantilever slab so the cantilever slab is like this type of slab where one end of the slab is fixed and the other end whereas the other end of the slab is being free so this kind of slab will be known as the cantilever slab if this is the length L so the thickness of the slab will be equal to the L by 10 so this thickness of for the cantilever slab will be equal to the L by 10 and it is a type of slab where one end, end is continuous and the other end is free so hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos thank you for watching our video